Go, I said in the introduction you're one of the hardest working guys in the game. I mean, apart from your new role as the British Crown Groom, you're also Staffordshire Secretary and running local leagues. I mean, administration is obviously something you enjoy, isn't it, mate? I enjoy doing it. I'm no good at playing, but uh, I enjoy doing it. And I've met some tremendous people uh, while being involved as a referee and uh, on the administration side of the job. Yeah. I mean, we, we've seen a lot of leagues and events fold up over recent years through people not being able to run them. I mean, it's, it's a sign of the times, isn't it? Make a lot of people, they want to play, and it's difficult to get folks to join committees and put time in behind the scenes, isn't it? Yeah, this is, this is one of the problems, and it always comes to the front when clubs have uh, their AGMs or county have AGMs, and you ask for volunteers or you ask for people to come forward to take on various roles. Um, and uh, I, don't know what the, what, I don't know what the answer is. Um, it's a near impossible situation. I believe some counties are rather fortunate that they've got people basically waiting to step in when somebody else uh, retires. Yeah. Um, and other counties, they have a similar sort of problem as we've had in the past, where uh, people are slow in coming forward to take on roles. I mean, you, you've only been in this position with the British Grand Green. For, for a few weeks. I mean, are there any areas you'd specifically like to see improve anyway, Mac? I mean, like publicity, for instance, and things like that? Well, one of the things I've um, always been my pet um, hate is, uh, is the player's dress. Um, I, I don't know what the answer is. Um, certainly um, at BCGBA and, um, and senior county level, uh, there's got to be a dress covered. But I hate to see local league games where you get people coming onto the greens in shorts and string vests and stuff like that and I think uh, leagues should be looking at dress code and trying to promote the game and sell the game. Um, I think if we want sponsorship coming forward, um, I've been to numerous games and I'm in a fortunate position that I know a lot of players, um, I know a lot of clubs so when I'm watching a game I know who's playing and who's playing against who but you get people that's uh, completely new to the game and they go to a green um, to watch a game and they don't know who's playing, what clubs are playing, what scores, there's nothing there to um, to advertise the game and I, I think this is one of the things that we've got to look at. Yeah, I quite agree with that, Mac, as well. <laughs> and as I said, I think you know, publicity is important as well, isn't it? You know? Very important. You know, I mean, the, the increased use of the internet now has been a big plus for the sport, isn't it? You yeah, know? this is tremendous. I mean, the, today's results, um, I know Pat, under a little bit, Pat Crown is under a little bit of pressure um, because uh, the ladies have had a county match today so Pat was only up at um, seven side for um, the morning part and then she's had to go and play um, for the ladies county but uh, I believe later on this evening uh, all the results from today uh, will be on the internet on the, um, on the net so people will be able to go into it and see exactly from the first game to the last game what the results were and who's played and who's won. I mean, it's good to see the British Grand Green website um, finally back up and running, isn't it, you know? Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, last year, I think, it, for the governing body to go for a, almost a year without um, an internet site was uh, not very good, really, was it, Matt? No, it's not very good at all, but now we've got a, a good guy on uh, board, yeah. Paul. You've got to say that, because he's in the next room, yeah. Well, no, <laughs> Paul's a tremendous guy, you know, Paul behind the scenes, um, not only does he run his secretary of his own club, Illy House, but um, you know, uh, he's the whiz kid on computers and uh, internet. Um, and I know I'm always speaking to him and trying to pick his brains and get him to help me um, in respect of putting Staffordshire competitions up there. Or as soon as I get the draw from the um, various people, I pass it on to Paul and ask him if he can uh, post it for me. Yeah, yeah, it, you know, we, the sport would be lost without people like Paul yep. and, and Jeff yep. Russell on the 21 upside and, and so on. I mean, like this radio show, is, it, it's easy for me to sit here and talk, but it's what he's doing behind the scenes, I wouldn't have a clue, you know, so, uh, you know, we're indebted to him, really. That's right. Uh, one other thing, uh, Mac, just while we're on the subject, before, before we leave you, um, last couple of years ago, the British Crown Green resurrected the, the mixed pairs competition. I, I was talking to some people last week saying uh, pity the, the governing body can't get a, a good doubles. There used to be a, a men's doubles a few years ago I remember and the finals were played at the Waterloo because uh, 
there's not many too many big doubles competitions, uh, like mile or, or open competitions. Do you think that's something else the British Crown Green might think of bringing back? Well, this is something we can look at. Uh, as I say, I've just become uh, competitions officer. I'm Staffordshire's representative on the management committee, um, and it may be worth putting it forward. The, the, the problem is, and um, one of the big problems that we've got is finding suitable dates or alternative dates to run competitions. I mean, with counties having their own uh, competitions and merits, and uh, and then you've got senior and junior county, ladies county. Um, it's uh, a problem trying to find uh, suitable dates when there's a weekend free to be able to play finals days. I know it's down to the with, uh, prospective counties to run their, or would be, to run their own qualifying uh, competitions um, to get somebody to put forward to... Um, to play in the final, but then it's a problem looking for the alternate dates. But uh, yeah, it's worth uh, a suggestion, it's worth putting it forward um, to the BCGBA and um, and see what can be done. Yeah, I mean, I remember playing it myself, and it was the one year the final at Waterloo was, was, was really well supported. Yep. And um, I mean, at that time, the BBC were, were running their top crown pairs as well, and I think the winners went into that, so it was. It was a good event, and as I said earlier, there's not many big open doubles around nowadays, so it may be an area that British Crown Grey want to look at. Yes, it's mm. something we can, uh, we can put forward mm. and, uh, and see if there's any mileage in it and, uh, and see what we can do with it. Yeah, okay. And finally, Mac, in tonight's programme, we're going to be discussing the Ensley Insurance County Championships. Um, starts next week. We've got people in here from all the different counties. Uh, Secretary of Staffordshire, how, how do you think? Staff is all do this time. Well, I've already booked five couches. We've got three qualifying matches, and I've already booked the couch for the semi-final and the final. Yeah, that's good. That's that's fighting to up, mate. Um, and, and likewise for the juniors, we're in the, we're in the three-team group this year. We're going across to Anglesey um, in a couple of weeks' time with the, the lads. Um, again, we look forward to playing in the semi-final, and hopefully we can go one better this year with the lads and get to the final. Yeah, it'll be great, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay, Mark. Anyway, thank you for your report. Thank you for joining us. Um, and all the best for the rest of the season in your job. I'm sure you'll do an excellent job. Thanks very much. It's been great you. speaking to you, Mac. Thank yeah, you. Thank you very much, Mike. Thanks. Bye bye. Oh, that was Mac Farlow, the new British Crown Green Competition Secretary. <laughs>